Kevin, coming off of yesterday, just how was today's practice and how good was it just to kind of get another day with the group? Oh, it was great to get another day with the group, get them up and down a little bit, kind of go over the different things that we went over yesterday, put in a couple of wrinkles and, um, and just go out there and play for one another. So it was really good to get back in here and have some sweat equity with the guys. And they learning me, they learning, I'm learning them, especially in this new role. So uh, we just gonna go out there and do it together. And I thought it was a good day today. How did everyone come out of the break and was everyone able to be full participants? Yes, everybody was able to be full participants throughout the practice, so that's a good thing. Um, they enjoyed their break, hopefully, to get away and you know enjoy family and friends and uh, get back to the main thing, the main thing, and that's the business of basketball and how we do on the basketball court and how we do off the basketball court, taking care of ourselves, recovery, all that stuff goes into the bigger picture of things, and that's how you become a professional. That's how you have a professional career, taking care of your business on and then taking care of your business, of course, on the court too. Of those, uh, some of those wrinkles, where might we see this team look a little bit, once you get your vision in place, a little bit different than what we saw under JV? I, offense, bigger change, defense is the bigger change. Um, we got a couple things in defense that we're changing on our pick and rolls and, you know, a couple things on the offense, things that we're doing um, to ha add a little bit more spacing. But the biggest thing is playing for each other and making the right plays. Um, not being selfish, getting the ball to the guys that they need. We need to get to get the ball to in the right spots where they can be very successful, but playing the right way. And we need to do that more consistently. So that's not a scheme change or anything. That's just playing better basketball, doing simple better. And I like, I like to use that term. You do simple better, and we got to continue to do that. How does the relationship with the guys change moving over, as you said, 18 inches on the bench yesterday? Um, it don't change. Um, of course, you know, my voice is prominent a little bit more. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I have some great relationships with these guys, and I don't want that to change because I'm a head coach now. Um, I want those to even get deeper where we can have vulnerable conversations. I can get them to know them a little bit better. So that's my goal is to build on these relationships. Uh, my, my, my plate is a little bit fuller. Uh, where, where I have to do a little bit more things, but I have to be intentional and, you know, very deliberate in my time building relationships with these guys and not get caught up in all the everyday things and people tugging at me, but that's the most important thing is building relationships. So I got to make sure um, I check myself each and every day about that and spending time with the guys on and off the basketball court because I played this game for 13 years and I know Basketball is one thing, but you got life too. And um, I want to make sure they know I'm there for them on both ends of the spectrum. We talk about being unselfish. Obviously, this team, very unselfish when Ben's on the court. Without Ben, the, the ball isn't fine as many guys. How do you kind of change that or marry that, I guess, to make sure that that unselfishness carries over when you have a player who's very unselfish, but when he's off the court, that tends to be a little bit difficult with this offense. Yeah, we got to keep standing on our standards. Um, that's our standards is sharing the cake. Um, everybody got to have a piece of the cake. And if you open, you need to get the ball. And that's my job as a coach, as a manager of, of effort, my manager of effort and energy, and my manager being a manager of, of playing the right way. Um, if it's a violation and that type of violation and you're playing selfish basketball, I have to make sure they're accountable. And then our team, their teammates got to make sure they're accountable. So that's the job of the coach, that's the job of the coaching staff to make sure, you know, we're doing more possessions where we having a free flow playing unlocked basketball than playing stuck basketball and we just locked. So I want to make sure it's an unlocked basketball and playing with freedom, moving the basketball and moving yourself and getting to the open spaces and that's playing with pace as well. Um, but we have to do that for us to win. We don't have a bunch of guys that can go ISO basketball and win games. We got to do it together. We got to cut more. We got to pass more. Uh, we got to play off each other more, and we got to make the right plays. And when you do things simple, it usually work. Um, you get too complicated, that's when, it, that's when it starts getting muddy a little bit, when you're trying to do it on your own. We have to use all of our resources and all of our players, um, all of their minds, because um, all, of, all of us, we got great basketball minds. We got to use them together uh, for this ship to row in the right direction that we want to go into. This team, it seems like fully healthy for the first time this season. Just is it going to be difficult for you to flush out a rotation given there's so many guys here that have been contributors, you know, with all the various injuries? Yeah, um, 
I don't like to use the word difficult. Uh, I like to use the word challenging because in challenge, I feel like it's a championship opportunity. Um, it's a championship opportunity. We want to be fully healthy. We want to have that, you, if you say problem, to have. Um, and that's my job to figure it out. That's our job um, in the whole organization to figure it out. And um, we're going to play the guys that go out there and play winning basketball and play hard and play unselfishly and stands for our standards, which is hunting. Um, it's, it's playing together, it's playing connected, um, playing the right brand of basketball. So uh, I look at that as a challenge, and that's a championship opportunity in that. And, it, and it's going to be changes, um, but we have to learn how to sacrifice because that builds winning habits. If we sacrifice and builds winning habits, and that goes into us all winning, you know, on the court and off the court, what we're trying to do in life. Kevin, you mentioned just about building the relationships with the players. When it comes to just your coaching staff and that bond and that relationship that you guys have built in these last couple of months, how much are you leaning into the group that you have? Oh, I'm leaning into them a lot. Uh, we got a bunch of smart guys. And if you, you're in this business, a lot is two type of coaches. One that's a coach that's humbled and one is about to get humbled. Uh, it's a lot of ups and downs in this game. So um, I've, I've learned that. I've been on the mountaintops and been – Fired, so you know, so I, I understand that, and I have to lean in those guys. They're a smart group. Uh, we got some smart, uh, great coaching staff that that got some masterpieces inside. So I lean on them a lot. They lean on me. We've been doing that the whole season, and we're gonna continue that. But I think that's a great thing uh, when you can lean on smart individuals to be talented, and then empower them to be great. There's a story a couple of days ago about the NBA head coaches that can still dunk a basketball. Yeah. You know, Monty Williams, Willie Green. Can we add you to the list? No, you can't add me to the All list. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I used to do it, throw the lives or throw it to AI when he was when he wanted to score. So uh, no, I, w I wasn't the big dunker guy, but. Uh, I get you a sis here and there though. <laughs> you mentioned yesterday just about the experience you've had from playing to coaching. Cam Thomas just talked about how he's looking forward to playing for you and even brought it back to the UConn days and the UConn teams and how he liked look, watching those games with those groups. How has your experience coaching wise, especially in the college, kind of like helped you in this NBA coaching world? It's chaotic. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing. You just never know what's coming at you. And you have to understand it's about being in the unknown and living in it and learning from it. Um, like I said, it goes, goes back to building relationships. In college, you was able to build a relationship. Uh, now you don't have the opportunity to build relationships a lot with the NIL. But um, here, you know, back then, you had to build a relationship to over two years, and then you finally get the guy. So that was a beautiful thing, building a relationship and seeing them grow up as you know, have, having them as young men and then seeing them 10 years later and they got families, they got their husband now and just seeing how they matured over the years. So that's always been good. And, you know, this this time is, is precious. Um, you don't get time back. And I just thank God for all the opportunities I've been through, UConn and the ups and downs with that. I've always learned and I'm going to take those experiences from that as lessons and not losses. And the wins, I'm going to continue to, you know, praise them and have them um, um, be a point of my life that I can look back on and say, yeah, I won a national championship. Uh, so those are great experiences as well. So I don't discount those um, because it's very hard to win in this league. Um, it's very hard to win in this league. And then when you have success, you got to understand that success is not all about you. So I've, I've learned to, to handle that um, very, very well. With Ben being back, him and Nick were starting alongside one another, you know, the past few games that he was in. Just what do you make of that pairing, and is that a pairing that you envision playing significant minutes together moving forward? Yeah, we just got to be healthy um, and playing those minutes. I, I think those two guys are valuable parts to our team, so hopefully we can have them healthy and hopefully they can continue to grow and play with one another and be successful out there as a basketball team. But also on the defensive end, I think they are credible. Nick is incredible back there, and we've all know Ben can be a tenacious defender, um, and we want him to continue to get back to that point where he's on the all defensive team. You talked about spacing. Um, some of your concentration on offense is making sure the spacing is good. With that particular tandem though, Ben and Nick, uh, how much of a focus is spacing? Because neither of these guys are known particularly as shooters. Yeah, you're exactly right. So you have to be able to space, you have to be able to cut, you have to play together. 
Um, we got to get out and rebound and get stops so they can play with pace and play in a, and play in a transition offense. So all those things count. But when it gets bogged down in a half court situation, we haven't had that situation where one's up, one's down, and how they play off of each other is crucial. Crucial. So that's why it's so good for practice time. We don't have a lot of practice time, but anytime we have a shooter around, we're always going to be talking about that. And when they when they with their individual coaches talking about how those two can play better together. And you talked about getting Ben back to where he was defensively as a player. Um, do you think that's better suited um, in a drop, or is that better suited switching the way you guys have been switching? Um, it, it goes and it varies. Um, I think Ben is, is a great on the ball defender. Um, and I think us ball pressuring more, getting in gaps more, and being assertive, having him use his arms, I call them eagle arms. Um, getting in assertive gaps and getting steals is a big part of our basketball team, and we want to get better at that. So um, I think his ball pressure, picking the ball up, being in the frame, which I call it, will, will allow him to do a lot of things that he can get back to. Um, and we see the progress in him. So it's not like he's, he's reinventing something. We just want him to continue to get better um, each and every day and empty his tank like we want all our players to do.